If you are looking for studying in the UK and are not quite sure about the process of application, then this is the video for you. Hi guys, I'm Sriya and today I'll be talking about medical application to UK. I know many people prefer UK over US for medicine because it takes lesser amount of time. In UK, it's about five years of undergraduation, whereas in US, it is pre-med plus med school, which takes up about eight to nine years for a person. So they obviously prefer UK. And the process of application to UK is much simpler than that of US. Let's first talk about how to apply. Well, there is one portal, UCAS portal, which is the only portal you need to apply for colleges in UK. So this UCAS, UCAS portal, is very simple to navigate through. You just go there, you register yourself, you give in your details. And since you're sure that you're going to do medicine, you just have to choose five colleges, okay? So do your research well and choose those five colleges. They're the maximum amount of colleges that you can choose. Well, after you're done with that process, you start with the other requirements which you need for your application. Let's come to the academic requirements. Apart from your transcripts from grade 9th to 12th, you will also require to write one exam, uh, either the BMAT exam or the UK CAT exam. So you can register for these exams. They're pretty easy to prepare for. And they basically focus on uh, judging your general logical abilities, etc. English, maths, and all the other things that you need to become a good doctor, I think. That's how they judge you. So these exams are pretty easy. You can go and check out their preparation methods, etc. If you want me, I can, I can make a video on UKCAT because I've given that exam. Now, the second exam that you need is the IELTS. So this is uh, very easy. Well, IELTS, I've already made a video about it. You can go check it out. The link is in the description. So for IELTS, it basically shows that you are able to speak, listen, understand and comprehend English. So it's a pretty simple exam. That's all about the specific exams that you have to give for UK admission. You do not require SAT scores. While there are, they are a kind of addition to your application, you don't specifically require your SAT scores. Apart from academics, the other aspect is recommendation letters. So while you need two to three recommendation letters from two to three of your teachers, preferably a bio teacher since you're going for medicine, so these recommendation letters are issued upon request. So you can request your teachers for a recommendation letter and they'll write about how you are as a person in class, how good are your academics, how good are you as a person. And that is a great addition to your application. Now, the third and most important thing is your personal statement. So as you know, in US universities, you're supposed to write a lot of essays for each individual college. But in UK, unlike that, there is just one essay that you have to write, which is your personal statement. Now, this personal statement is very important because in this statement, you're supposed to show your passion for the particular course you're choosing. You're supposed to write about yourself, about why you want to do that course. Why do you like that college or why do you want to study in UK, etc. So when you talk about your personal statement, it has to be very, very well written and it has to show off your personality and also your passion for that subject. Extracurricular activities and internship aren't of much importance as they are in US but it's great if you have them. You can definitely mention them in your UCAS application. So this is all you need for UK application. If I have to redo it for you, I'll just tell you to make a application on UCAS portal, get rec letters of recommendation, write the exams required, and well, that's all you need and write your personal statement. So guys, that is it for today's video. Please let me know if you need help with IELTS or UCAT or your personal statement. I'll be ready to make a video about it. So yes, thank you so much for watching. <laughs>